Today, I'm going to show you how to remove all the junk that comes with Windows 10. Stay tuned. It's been common knowledge for some time, well, at least it should be common knowledge, that when you buy a computer, it's gonna come with a ton of bloatware. Bloatware affects your system's performance, and it can be a privacy issue because a lot of these programs actually use telemetry to phone home. One of the ways that made it easy to clean this stuff up was just to reload Windows from scratch. Unfortunately, Windows 10 comes with some bloatware of its own and a lot of telemetry that watches everything you do. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the Windows 10 debloater script to make quick work of this thing and clean up and install of Windows 10. Let me show you how to use it. This is a virtual machine of Windows 10. I set this up just for the purpose of this video. It's a factory install of Windows 7 1909. Um, I've changed a few things like the background and I also changed the home page to Windows Edge just to make it easier to film on. But as you can see, it has all the garbage still that comes with Windows 10. If you scroll down here, you can see all the programs that comes pre-installed on it. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to easily remove all of these things right here with a simple script. So the first thing that we need to do is open up Windows Edge. Then we're going to want to search Windows 10 debloater. And then right here, we want to go to the GitHub link here. And then from GitHub, we want to go over here to the code button. Just click on this button and click download zip. And then I'm going to hit save as, and I'm going to save this to my desktop just to make it easier to find. And then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to keep the Windows Edge window open here because we're going to need some of this information later. So I'm going to minimize that and we're going to open this zip file up here and we're going to drag this folder out onto our desktop. And then at this point, we can actually go ahead and just throw the zip file away. So now the first thing that we wanna do is right click on the start menu and click on Windows PowerShell as admin. You wanna run this as admin and hit yes to the user account control and then give the PowerShell a second to start up. Now the first command that we wanna run is we wanna go back into Windows Edge here and we wanna look right here and we need to set this command in order to allow PowerShell to run scripts. So we're gonna highlight this, we're gonna right click and hit copy, and then go ahead and minimize this again. And then just by right clicking in this window, it'll automatically paste what you have on your clipboard. So it's gonna go ahead and paste that, and we're gonna hit enter to run the command. And that's it. So now what we need to do is run the script. So I'm gonna change directories to my desktop just by typing CD. And then we're going to change into the folder where the script's located at. And then from here, we want to run this script right here, the GUI. This will just be easier to use because it's a GUI. So to run that, we're just going to hit period forward slash. And then if you hit the tab key, it'll auto complete. But we want to make sure to backspace here and type G. UI and then hit tab again and then hit enter. And now we're going to want to push the R key to run the script. And give it a second. And here we go. So now that we have the script open here, so there's a couple things that we can do. We can either hit remove all bloatware now and it'll just go through the automated process of removing bloatware. Or what we can do is we can customize what bloatware we want removed. So I'm going to do that now. So we're going to click the customize button. And then once this opens up, you can scroll down and you can decide what you want to remove and what you want to keep. So as you can see, there's a lot of things here that are already checked. Now there's some of this stuff that I actually like to use. So I'm going to show you how you can uncheck that. So you're going to scroll down and I'm going to look for Bing weather right here, because honestly, I kind of like the little weather tile. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. So we're going to scroll down. to Bing weather here. We're gonna uncheck it so it won't remove that. And then if you wanna add anything else to the list, so let's say we wanna remove the Windows Store, we can just check that. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna check all this Xbox stuff too. So we'll 
remove all of this stuff. We're gonna keep MS Paint, we're gonna keep the camera, we're gonna keep the photo app. In fact, you know what? Let's get rid of the photo app. So I'm gonna check that too. So if we girl, scroll down, you can decide what you wanna get rid of and what you wanna keep based on what's checked on this list. So once you get this all filled out to your liking, you're gonna scroll up and you're gonna push the save custom blacklist here. So once you push that button, we can go ahead and close this. And then we can push this button here that says remove bloatware with customized blacklist. So we're gonna push that now and you'll see in the PowerShell window, everything actually happening. So once we push that button, you'll see here, everything taking place. So now this is gonna take a second to go through. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this portion up and we'll be back when it's done. And there we go, all the bloatware has now been removed. If you go down here, click on the start button, you'll see that there's a lot less installed than there was before. We still have a lot of these tiles here, but I'm gonna show you about that in a minute. But you'll see that we still have a couple things here. We have OneDrive and things like that. So let me show you the rest of what you can do here. So you can disable Cortana if you want to, and I recommend doing that. I always turn Cortana off. So if we click that button, it'll turn Cortana off. We can also re-enable Cortana if we want to. We can also take away Microsoft's Edge takeover of PDI Association. So if you wanted to do that, you can push that here. And then here you can uninstall OneDrive. To be honest with you, OneDrive really irritates me. It reinstalls itself constantly. So by pushing this button, you can get rid of it. Give it a second and it'll remove OneDrive. And there we go, OneDrive has been successfully removed. We can also disable the telemetry tasks in Windows 10 by pushing this button here. So we're gonna push that now. So it's gonna take a second to go through here. It's disabling all the scheduled tasks. And that's been done. All right, so now there's a couple more things here. We can remove the bloatware registry keys. So if we push that, it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna remove all the registry keys to the bloatware that we've already removed. And then also it has this option here where you can unpin tiles from the start menu. I haven't been able to get that function to work. Every time I push this button, it just locks the program up. So I haven't bothered with it. So what we can do is we can actually click on the start button and we can remove these things because honestly, these programs aren't actually installed anymore. They've been removed from the computer, but the tiles are still there on some of them. So all we have to do is right click and we can hit unpin to get rid of these. And it's, it's that simple. You can just remove them from the start menu. So then the next thing that we're gonna do here is we can either enable dark mode or disable dark mode. So all this does is turn Windows 10 dark. So if we click on the settings, you can see it's dark or we can disable dark mode. So everything kind of goes back to the way that it was. And then also we can install .NET 3.5 if we wanted to from here. I'm not gonna do that now, but at least you know that it's available to you. And then once you've done everything that you wanna do, go ahead and close the script here and then close PowerShell, and that's it. You can click on the Start button. You can see that it's Windows 10 is stripped down to its absolute bare minimum at this point. And you can kind of move forward from here and install all the programs that you want. And that's all it takes to run the Windows 10 debloater script. Your Windows 10 should be much more slimmed down than it was out of the box. And it should increase your performance a lot, especially disabling all the telemetry that's phoning home to Microsoft all the time. Now, unfortunately, there's some caveats to this. The primary one is that next time Windows has a major release, you're gonna have to go through and do all this over again because unfortunately, Windows 10, every time it has a major release, it installs all this garbage again on your computer. Now, I wish there was a way that we could deal with this more proactively, but unfortunately, Microsoft wants this bloatware on your computer, so it's simply gonna be an arms race of removing it whenever it's installed. And I've played around with this script on version 1909 and 2004. And I decided not to do this video on 2004 because the script was really buggy on 2004. So I don't think it's quite there yet, but it works really good on 1909. The only part of the script that didn't function is unpinning the tiles from the start menu. But honestly, it's really easy to do that on your own. So it's not really necessary to have 
a button to remove them for you. So this is one way to help you speed up Windows 10. And I've done some other videos, and I'll go ahead and pin those right here that will also help you speed up Windows 10. So go ahead and check those videos out and let me know how they work out for you. So if this video was helpful to you, then please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. I post a new video every week. Have a great day.